Scorpio. I am here to do your reading. Don't know why I had an English accent there. Um, but we're gonna roll with it. Okay, Scorpio, the song I got on shuffle for you guys was Somewhere in Between by Verite. Sounds like French. It's got accents on it, so don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Verite, Verite, I think of it. You know, I'm gonna stop talking about that. Anyways, she sings like somewhere in between, in between you and me, somewhere in between your throat and my neck, hung up and lied the same day it makes me choke, kept out of sight, I'll never find glimpses of heaven at night. Deep. My soul can. Okay, somewhere in between living and dying, making believe, walls have gone quiet. My soul concedes, will set it on fire. So I can sleep in smoldering silence somewhere in between you and me. There's a measure of distance I can't quite calculate. You know what? That's some deep shit right there, Scorpio. And if I know any sign that takes things deep, it's Scorpio. So you could be in this like in-between place with somebody not knowing what's going to happen, how to move forward. It's like limbo. You're in limbo. Are you in limbo, Scorpio? Let's see. Let's get three oracle cards here. Focus on success. So a lot of the time when I'm like, feel this is just my personal exercise. You know when you do get in those limbo moments of like you don't know what's going to happen next. Um, and you're kind of like, okay. Um, you're kind of like it's you're in that mode where you want to be like oh my god they're never gonna talk to me again oh my god this is like they don't like me they don't like that feeling that you get I like to exercise like what if I communicate positively with myself in those moments and be like of course they're gonna contact me again of course they like me there's just no other there's just no other option of course they like me of course they're gonna communicate with me and then you just go about your day, you go about your life. And then when they communicate you, you're like, well, duh. Instead of kind of going into that agony and then projecting all this like negative chaotic emotion, you know? So maybe you're needing to think positive right now. Wake up call. Oof. Make necessary sacrifices. All right, so Scorpio, you might be having a wake up call right now. I'll tell you what, I've done a few readings today. Tower showed up in all of them. Um, so we are entering this Virgo season. And I will say, I do feel astrologically, with everything going on in, you know, with the planets and stuff, the time period we're entering now, apparently shit's supposed to get wild. So if we think it's been wild, like it's supposed to get even crazier. So enjoy hermit season, enjoy Virgo season, because I think by the time Libra season comes around and by the time Scorpio season comes around, it's going to get kind of wild. So bottom of the deck, the magician, the magician card, your thoughts become things. You are the product of all your manifestations. So even what I just said earlier about shifting your thoughts, shifting your mentality, into positive thinking is going to make all the difference. Um, if you are in a limbo, because I think you might be in a limbo of like, some days you think positively, some days you think negatively. And it's a lot about just like, lean into the positive more, more likely just go go with the go with the positive thoughts, because that's what's going to help you manifest better for yourself. But you're in a strong like energetic mode where you could be very tapped into your emotions. And when we tap into our emotions and feelings, that's how we ma manifest like instantly. So it's like right now you just have to be really cautious about what you're communicating. Because it's one thing to think it in your head and then be like, ooh, reject that thought. But if you're communicating to people being like, oh, I don't know. I don't know like if they're going to contact me again. Mm -mm. When you're communicating, when you're vocalizing out and creating like. A vibration of sound you have to communicate positively that's why you should never ever say something like I'm broke or I'm this I'm that um, reword it wheel of fortune is here in reverse um, 
can easily be flipped over though but you might be feeling and saying to somebody that you're unlucky change that change that um nothing's going my way nothing ever goes my way uh-uh you better stop saying that you better stop saying that um because you're gonna manifest something like you're gonna manifest this big wake-up call uh and it's you know it's not going to be, it's not going to be gentle, but it's, it's totally programmed by your thoughts. So you need to kind of shift your perspective in that sense. So let's get a clarifier for this Wheel of Fortune. The moon card. Um, the moon, the moon is illusions. This is this illusion that you've centered around yourself, basically being like, I'm unlucky. Nothing goes in my favor. Like start changing the start changing that sentence and be like everything goes in my favor and the more you say it the more you're going to feel it and maybe you need to take little things that have gone in your favor instead of like this whole nothing goes in my favor is that true the fact that you woke up breathing today i think that's something that's in your favor um so the moon card is about breaking down illusions it's about you know facing those shadow aspects so let's just get into the reading. Eight of Cups, moving away from things that no longer serve you. Things and people. Seven of Swords. And the Empress card. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Let's see. Eight of Cups here. What's the Eight of Cups doing here? The Six of Cups. Past energy. Uh, this could be a lot of things that you've programmed yourself since childhood. Um, this could be in regards to a connection from the past that you are needing to move away from. Uh, there was deception and trickery here. And I feel as though, um, for some of you, this roots from like a mother figure, this like deception and this tendency to act a certain way roots from like a relationship. Like, you know, people have daddy issues. I'm seeing mommy issues here. Um, so it kind of manifests into your belief system and then your relationship. So there could have been a relationship here that really did some damage to you. And then you keep manifesting it. You keep manifesting the same situation. Uh, and then you're kind of like in this belief pattern that it happens all the time, but it's actually because you're speaking it out you're speaking it out and you're almost like kind of calling it in i know this is going to trigger some people and be like i don't call that in if you have ever uttered the words why does this always happen to me you are calling it in that is your wake-up call you are totally calling that in by even being like why does this always happen to me as much as you want to throw the pity part and say that to yourself or say that to other people. Like, do not put that out into the universe. The Empress. Three of Swords in reverse. So you almost have to embody this kind of... This energy of self-worth, of nurturing yourself, of self-love. And kind of embody this... This being that knows their power. That knows their power. And when you start to realize, like... Even taking this and being like, damn, I'm so powerful that I've manifested all these situations for myself. And then imagine if you put that power, if you actually were cognizant of that power that you possess, what you could create for your life, you know? Um, and if you used it for like the right causes. Look at this. We got the Knight of Wands here. A little tricky bastard. Is he English? Is he English? Because why am I speaking? Why am I using English language? <laughs> because tricky bastard sounds like something like a, a Brit would say. Um, eight of wands here. The knight, nine of swords. Nine of swords in the mutual energy. This is like sleepless nights, overthinking. There's a couple eights here. So this is some a situation that cycles back to you. This is a situation that cycles back to you. Um, some of you might communicate, I just can't escape this person. I just can't escape this person. Again, another, 
another um, language thing that you need to change the language. Change the language of what you speak. Because uh, I just can't get away from this person. Because guess what? They're coming right on back. They always leave to come back, right? Um, star card. Really healing from this energy. This is going to sound so weird, but some of you guys have created this person, like um, a version of them in your head. You know when you like are in the shower and you're like fighting with somebody in your head, like you're going through like a fight and you're like you're riling yourself up because you're communicating with this person in your head. But in reality, like, we're fighting with ourselves because whatever that person's telling us in our head is, like, our projection of them, which in turn is, like, us saying all those nasty things to ourselves. Um, so we're fighting with ourselves. Mind blown. Um, I feel like there's something that needs to heal here with how you view this person. Because, again, with the negative self-talk, this person might not perceive themselves to like have hurt you, but it's like the way you've, um, you know, the way you've kind of talked yourself into a situation, they've hurt you multiple times, you know, they've hurt you multiple times, um, like all the fights you have in the shower with them and your head with them when you're sitting, when you're going on a walk and you're fighting with them in your head. Like you've listened, that's, that, that's, then you see this person in person and think about all the fights you've had in your mind with this person and this, you, you have so much resentment for this person, but who do you really have resentment for? <laughs> it's going to be so triggering this reading, but this is some like knowledge that even I'm going to like write this down after I do this reading because I'm like, holy shit, that's so true. You're fighting with yourself and then you're projecting it onto this person being like, they hurt me. They did this to me. You know, I know what they really think about me. But it's like, mm, that doesn't have to be the case. It might just be what you think about you. So, whew. All right. Eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands doing here? This is moving forward fast. The Sun card, the Fool card, taking a leap of faith. Um, Leo energy. I feel that this person does have a lot of passion for you and that is why they keep coming back in. But you have created some kind of barrier here. You have created some kind of barrier and it's like a wall. It's like a, a, a fortress. Like you've created a fortress so you communicate to this person past like behind the wall and it's like you're constantly on the defense. You're just constantly on the defense with this person. But yet I think part of you wants this person to act a certain way, but then you're coming at it from a different angle. You're coming at it from this like very tense angle. So Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Ten of Swords, Four of Wands. So it's about either you're going to have to change your, change your perspective and really take accountability for yourself and decide to approach the situation differently or decide to leave it in the past and move on to something new. But there has to be a decision. That's where that being somewhere in between, you have to decide. If you are not comfortable moving on from this person, then you have to be present and available for them. You have to be ready to kind of be like, okay, I'm not going to hold this grudge against you because at a core level, I want to give this a shot. I want to give this a fair chance, not come into it being like, you know, holding so much resentment for that person because then that's never going to go anywhere. Um, one more card fell out here. The High Priestess in reverse. So this is kind of about, you know, opening yourself up, um, lacking this is about getting in touch with your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? And in order to get in touch with that intuition, you kind of have to clear all those ego, all that ego, ego that wants to keep you kind of angry, wants to keep you blaming all your externals versus you, you know? Realize your power. When you realize your power, you kind of start realizing you can shape and transform the world in the way you want it to be. 
So let's see, four of wands here. Four of wands, the justice card. You know, you might be wondering like, is this person my soulmate? I think so, but there needs to be balance here. Um, there could be a potential for a passionate union. We got the lover's card that jumped out too. So the lover's card, the justice card, Libra energy. There's some Libra energy here, Gemini, obviously. Um, this is about like, you know, fairness. There has to be fairness. There has to be accountability from both sides. Um, and if this person is like, if you're tapping in and this person you feel is your soulmate, then you have to be willing to, you have to be willing to kind of take that leap of faith on your own as well and kind of look at this from a different perspective. But if not, if you don't feel that way, if you want to comment here like F you for even like throwing this out there, then guess what? You can just move on from it. But if you take this relationship into the next one, I guarantee you it will play out the same. So you kind of have to learn this lesson or else it's going to keep repopulating into your life. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Scorpio. In the extended, I will look into who this is coming towards you, what it is that they would like to communicate, what's happening unexpectedly for you, advice from spirit, as well as what's blocking your connections from coming in. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box and I will see you guys there. Bye.